Hello everyone, I'm Chen. Today I want to share a challenging experience that I had with a patient during my last clinical rotation in a acute care setting. So I met this lady, I don't quite remember her exact age, but she was around her 80s. She was in the hospital for pneumonia and increased weakness, but that's not even half of it. When I first evaluated her, she seems pretty independent. She was able to move around in bed, transfer, um, walk with a walker without much help from me but she was in constant pain she told me she had pain in her lower back the knee ankle shoulder chest arm like everywhere um, sometimes it hurts when she moves and sometimes it hurts even when she's just lying down still she has been dealing with the pain for over 20 years um, i read her on my report but they didn't show any significant abnormalities i could explain out her pain um, what really got to me wasn't just the physical pain, it was how um affect her mentally. She was so negative about her situation. I remember she saying something like, I feel like I'm a burden to my kids, why I'm experiencing all this pain. Um, it was heartbreaking to hear, so I tried to educate her about how pain sometimes comes from the brain rather than the body. Um, I explained that sometimes our brain can trick us into feeling pain that isn't actually there. But the education didn't go well as I expected. Um, she looked at me and asked and and said, um, I can feel the pain there, I can feel it. You're you're too young, you never experienced this, and you have no idea how painful I was. Um, she was right, I never experienced chronic pain like that. And then my approach totally backfired. Uh, after that, she refused to do any exercise beyond the basic test, like MMT, range of motion, and the, some functional tests that we need to do. And her motivation for therapy was really low. So looking back, I realized how challenging it can be to work with a patient like her had a really negative outlook and have a low motivation for therapy. Patient education is really important and critical, but it's not always as simple as explaining things. So if I could go back, um, there are definitely some things I wish I know early. Um, like I wish I had a more systematic approach to understand and identify the chronic pain. And I wish I knew how to properly educate the patient with chronic pain in a way that's more acceptable for them. Um, and I need to learn how to help them change their mindset without making them feel misunderstood. And that's it for my story.